In this video, I'll show you how to create the ghost voice effect to make your voiceover sound really scary in time for Halloween. Okay, let's get straight to it and hop into Adobe Audition. Here is the dry voice recording of me saying Happy Halloween. Let's have a listen. Happy Halloween. And I kind of had that kind of fade in already, didn't I? That kind of Happy Halloween. It's called the ghost effect, the poltergeist effect, uh, often just reverse reverb because that's exactly what it is. Any audio editor that has reverb will be able to do this. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to show you a brand new plugin from Isotope. It's really cool, actually. It is called Neoverb, and it's a very, very good kind of reverb. So here's Neoverb. Let's load it up. Here's the interface. And, of course, we can go to all kinds of different uh, settings here. So we can look for a nice, bright vocal chamber. How about that? And we can move this around to get the reverb we desire. Happy Halloween. That's great. Or over here. Happy Lots of low end there. Happy Halloween. Or a little bit tighter. So, of course, Neoverb will do all of this for you, or any good reverb plugin will do it. I'm going to kind of go down here. Happy Halloween. Maybe just in the middle. Happy Halloween. That's got the kind of effect I want. Now I've got that. It's good, but that's on the tail. We want it at the start, so it's kind of fading in like a, a ghostly presence. So how do we do that? Well, let's close out of this for a second, and we'll do just a few things. First of all, at the start of this, before the speech, I'm going to insert some silence. So let's go ahead, insert silence, and we'll put about 10 seconds to be safe of silence here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is around about the peak of this, so probably around here. P, P. Around the P of happy, let's put a marker in so we know how to line this up later. And then I'm going to go into the effects menu and I'm going to reverse this so we get something that sounds awfully crazy like this that, that just sounds terrible doesn't it uh, let's go back into effects now let's go back to VST3 let's go to my reverb and then use this neo verb here okay perfect then we simply apply that uh, but before we do we should actually take a copy of this and put it into a brand new file so let's keep a copy over there go back to our ghost effect voice apply this here okay now it's done we can then effect reverse it and we've got this Happy Halloween. and then if you want to layer it up you can go into the multi-track here we'll call this halloween like that and then we'll go ahead and bring in the ghost effect so here it is on one track Happy Halloween. and then we'll bring the original recording here i'm just going to trim this down to size so let's trim this here and here like that like that I've even got the purple Halloween colors going on in my multi-track, you see? Thought about this especially for you. Uh, let's have a listen to this. Now, this is reverse. So let's reverse it back. We'll go back. Effects, reverse it back so it's ready to use. Um, we just need to find the little bit of audio, which is a little bit later on in the track, and line that up. There it is. And you'll see, because we've got the marker here, this track can now go exactly lined up to our original track, uh, like this and actually what I can do is I can turn snapping on by hitting the magnet icon here and then these markers should snap uh, if I am precise enough let's let's try and get right in and see if we get it to snap and there we go snapped in that's good bring this back in and we can always do a fade in on this let's give it a play And there you go. There is your ghostly poltergeist voice effect ready and in time for Halloween. I was using Neoverb. It's a cool new reverb plugin from Isotope, but you can use any reverb and most audio editors tend to have one or two reverbs that you can use to achieve exactly the effect I've just demonstrated to you. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments down below.